time now to meet some very impressive students from Springfield who've been chosen as ambassadors for the entire state. It's called Project 351. It's made up of middle school students from throughout the Commonwealth who reflect values of compassion, commitment, humility, and kindness. Carolee McGrath spoke with two of the four students chosen from Springfield, Damon Gonzalez of South End Middle School and Leila Kibodia from Chestnut Gifted and Talented Middle School, as well as Instructional Leadership Specialist Janine Yawson from South End Middle to learn more. So Project 351 is an organization that brings eighth graders from all over Massachusetts together to do community service. And so you're an ambassador. That's what it's, it's called, an ambassador. And yeah. this is really through the governor's office. So that's, that's a big deal, yeah. right? How did you feel? There's only four kids in Springfield that were chosen. There's a lot of, lot of eighth graders in Springfield. How did that make you feel? I felt honored to be chosen from all these eighth graders and to represent Springfield in a good way. Okay, so Damien, you were also one of the lucky ones that was chosen. I shouldn't say lucky. I bet you're a hard worker and, and you do well in school. How did that make you feel when you were chosen? Honored and surprised. Why were you surprised? I, I bet you're a hard worker in school. And there's, I, yes, but there's also other people that I thought that could have gotten picked too. Humility are all part of um, what Project 351 is about, which is fantastic, you know, to teach everybody, not, not just eighth graders. I think adults, we all need a little compassion and humility as well. Tell us a little bit more about that. So um, students were nominated by their, te uh, by their um, principals, mm -hmm. um, and some teachers might have had some voice in that as well, and there was a letter of recommendation written to, um, for these nominations. Um, and then for Damien, he's been doing, like he's a very quiet, he's a quiet leader, and is a respectable young man, so it only makes sense that he would represent be one of the representatives in Springfield. Now, eighth grade is a tough year. You're a teacher um, because, you know, that next year is high school. And when you get to high school, you can go this way and you can go that way. Why is eighth grade such a critical year in your experience? I think um, they are leaving kind of like the nest that they've been in for three years. So they leave as the older kids in the, in the building. Um, and then they have to figure out who they are entering the high school that they are assigned to through some of school choice. But um, so it's trying to figure out who you are. And I think it's a great opportunity for eighth graders to kind of have something um, that they can um, kind of attach themselves to for when they leave and go on to ninth grade. I find that community service is, is a great way of learning about other people, learning about yourself, and, and kind of what you're made of. But I think you hit on a good point that it makes you feel good to help other people. What kinds of projects do you want to get involved in locally? Because that's, that's part of the program, right? You do group, uh, group community service projects with all of the kids that were chosen across the state, but also local projects. What things interest you? Um, I'm thinking of having like a all of Springfield invited donation day at like a pretty like known site. I'm trying to get other ambassadors to chip in. Oh, there you go. We just we just figured one out. That's great. Like all of Springfield donation day. Okay, so you got to pick a date. And what do you want to donate to? Well, um, we're supposed to donate to a cause called um, Cradles to Crayons, oh, and great. it helps kids in that are homeless or in like bad financial situations. And so we get clothes and we can get money or and use that to buy clothes or mm -hmm. give it straight to the organization. Now in May, you also have a, a big um, activity coming up with the other ambassadors chosen around the state. And I have to say, and Layla, who's the, the only reason why I know this is because Layla told me that Project 351 is because of the 351 communities around the state, right? Thank you, Layla, for <laughs> educating me on that. So what happens in May when you guys all get together? We do a like huge service event. Um, it's kind of like what we did um, in January. We um, all were split into groups to do um, service all over Boston, but only this will be at Gillette Stadium. Which is fantastic, right? Home of the Patriots, yes. <laughs> which is a topic for another day. Um, so this is fantastic. So your, your parents must be excited? Yes, they are. Excited. Everybody's excited at home? Yeah. Yeah, and this has got to be really a, a big source of pride at South End Middle as well? Yes, lots of teachers are excited and really happy for Damien 
Okay, and I'm sure all the, the teachers at, um, at Chestnut Tag as well are very teachers, excited. Students. Teachers, students, we're going to have a whole party for you guys. Thank you so much for uh, coming in today, Janine, Damian, and Layla. And uh, good luck. We don't have, hear enough uh, great stories about young people, and you guys are really making the future very bright. Thanks for coming in. Thank you.